Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and oh, today, today I'm gonna be sharing something with you guys that I have been wanting to share for a long time. Been hinting about it for a bit. You're gonna get it today. Thanks so much to my generous patrons who are supporting me. Link for Patreon right down below. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Let's go ahead and get into this. So those of you who follow me on Instagram have probably seen this. And you're like, that's not new. Why is that exciting? Well, Orange Hammer. Colory Shop exclusive, right? In CTS XHP. I have been hinting for a bit that I have some projects that I want to do. Uh, I have actually two of them. This is the first project. Um, you guys uh, probably um, saw, you know, one of my favorite uh, customization uh, jobs that I uh, had done was the um, Shaman from River's Edge Cutlery um, that I put the titanium scales on and then it had those Cerakoted black. And I had so much fun with that. Um, and I was like, man, I love the Shaman. I want to do that again. I want to see what's out there, right? So um, I found a, a gentleman who actually made me a deal on two rare Shamans. Um, and this was one of them, and I paid exactly what they cost from the retailer. They were brand new. Shout out to that guy. You're awesome. You know who you are. Very cool. Thank you for helping me get this done. Um, so, uh, you know, the orange is uh, not my favorite. I, I like this shaman because I, I like the tumbled finish. And to my knowledge, the Cutlery Shop, uh, the, the Cutlery Shop exclusive shaman is the only one that the only exclusive or sprint or whatever that is not satin or something else. It's tumbled, like the original S30V version, which I love. I love that, right? Um, but I don't like orange. <laughs> Sorry, uh, gross. I don't like orange. So I thought, what do I want to do? Well, there's lots of different colored scales and different, you can get the carbon fiber and you get them, uh, mm, I wanna do something, uh, I wanna do something different. So I uh, contacted this, uh, this gentleman here uh, yeah, this, this is somebody, um, you guys want to, I'll, I'll link his stuff down below, I'll link his website, um, but this is somebody you guys want to, um, be familiar with. Uh, <laughs> so this gentleman, uh, made me some, um, oil slick black zirconium scales. <laughs> I'm so pumped. Solid, uh, well, they're they're milled, right, to accept the internals, but these are uh, black zirconium. And originally they had a brush finish, and I noticed that he had some other products that had the oil slick, which I've been seeing here. Oil slick zirconium is, ooh, and it looks exactly like what you, you know, say, like when you see some oil laying on the ground and it kind of has that um, rainbow iridescent kind of look to it. Um, it's exactly that, and I, and I said, is there any way you could apply that to the zirconium? And he goes, yeah, no problem. I can do that. Um, holy crap, dude. These came out excellent. Oh my God, these are beautiful. Now, if you don't know, zirconium is extremely expensive. I'm gonna tell you guys right now, buckle up, sit down. Uh, these scales cost $250. People who are familiar with zirconium and how much it costs. It doesn't really add any, it's really heavy and it, there's not really a reason to choose it over like something like titanium or even G10. I am not making my shaman more capable. I'm making it cool for me because I like to do this type of stuff. So there may be more parts added to this particular shaman in the future, but for now what I'm doing is installing an MXG uh, deep carry clip and I'm installing these scales because Holy crap, I have wanted a full zirconium knife for so long, and this just seemed like a perfect opportunity. So, without any further ado, we're going to do the hyperlapse and the music thing. I'm going to get this shaman taken apart, and I'm going to put these beautiful scales on, and then we're going to uh, check it out together.
oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Um, this, this dude, this dude is for real. <laughs> the, the level of precision in these scales. I, you know, I had my, I had my reservations. I've ordered custom scales before and have backed out on entire uploads because the machining, not from this guy, but from other people, because the machining was not up to par. This, and excuse me, I, I keep having to wipe this down. Zirconium, especially the oil slick stuff, is a fingerprint uh, magnet. These scales are absolutely masterfully, thank you, Cranes Cutlery, for the <laughs> uh, cleaning cloth here. These are masterful, masterful scales. And if you're wondering, is it heavy now? Oh yeah, oh definitely, the balance is totally off. I gotta weigh this thing. Zirconium is so heavy, it absolutely feels, this thing is an absolute tank now. Um, sorry, I'm just gonna have to get my fingerprints on it. I can't believe how smooth it is as well. <laughs> it weighs, weighs eight and a half. Oh man, I don't care. I don't care. This thing is such a beast now. This is so cool. So this is obviously all it is. It's not a, it's not a total overhaul. I, I literally just switched the pocket clip and switched the scales, but I was so happy. It came together so perfectly and the blade centered up and all the, oh my God, all of the parts snugged in. If I made it look difficult, here's the thing. The shaman is not hard to take apart. But taking it apart and putting it back together without scratching the zirconium, I was so nervous. Uh, I, I got it all together, didn't get a, a mark on it, um, and uh, it's just, this came out so stunning. Um, but uh, yeah, I would very much like to change out the backspacer and the pocket clip. And uh, I think what would be super cool, um, Mr. Metan Boss, <laughs> I'm just going to start calling him Boss now, uh, but uh I mean, I don't want to make requests or make him ask him to do something he's not willing to do. But oh my gosh, uh, I would uh, after installing these in a heartbeat, I would buy a custom pocket clip and backspacer from you, buddy, in Zerkatai, uh, just for the accents. I know he works with that as well. <clears throat> Sorry, did I accidentally hint at my other shaman project? Um, that's coming down the road. But uh, holy smokes, this, I, I am so happy, God, I am so amped up right now. This came out so freaking awesome. I cannot, I cannot stress to you guys how unbelievably solid and just, ah, the knife enthusiast in me is just going absolutely berserk for this right now. And it's so funny because... This is like a shaman that, like the shaman costs, like just the base shaman is, is expensive and hard to get and frustrating. And then I added something to it that adds no meaningful utility whatsoever. In fact, it actually, the zirconium truthfully actually takes away from the balance and makes it unnecessarily heavy, right? And I, I paid money to have this done. And knowing that, absorbing the full logic of that, I can tell you that my, you know, what comes out of the other end of that equation is nothing short of utter euphoria. <laughs> this is so cool. I was introduced to this gentleman by my buddy Scott, who you guys know is the guy on Instagram who has the greatest knife collection you've ever seen. And I was like, I trust Scott. If he says the scales are good, uh, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to go for it. And, um, this is, uh, I've already ordered something else from him, but these are not my last two orders from this guy. Uh, this guy, this guy is awesome. And, uh, oh, did I mention that they're made in the USA? Yeah, that's pretty freaking cool. I am super happy, more than happy to have paid full price for everything from this gentleman, which is true. There was no deal worked out. In fact, I didn't contact him at all. I just ordered. Um, and uh, that's kind of the way that I like to do it. Raw, real, right? I should have said real instead of raw after saying that's the way I like to do it. I'm sorry about that. Um, but I, it's real. And it's it feels so good to be excited about something that's so actually well done. I am so infinitely happy with this. Oh my gosh. I have to wipe all my fingerprints off again before we sign off. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's um, little modding session. I have been so excited to do this upload. And I just, I kept telling myself, like, my heart is going to be broken if these scales end up not fitting the way that I want or not looking the way that I want or not being milled 
uh, in a way or not being machined in a way that is, um, you know, satisfying to somebody who's going to spend this much money. But let me tell you, guys, if you are going to cross that bridge, the bridge of insanity, and you're going to dump a bunch of money into something that is not going to, this did not increase the value of this shaman. It did not, did all, in fact, I have devalued now the, um, the color shop exclusive by removing the scales from it. So it's, this is not about creating something that is now more valuable. I'm going to make money on it. No, this is just about scratching the itch of a knife enthusiast. Um, I've never seen a full zirconium shaman and now I own one and, uh, it is so absolutely excellent. And I think it's really cool that it's one in uh, CTS XHP. So yeah, you're going to be seeing more of this. And, uh, if you enjoyed this one, if you enjoyed this build, um, the next one's <laughs> the next one's gonna be absolutely wild. So okay, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Check out, please check this guy out. I'll link him down in the description here. Um, my hands are literally still shaking from trying not to scratch those scales. Uh, thank you so much, Metan Boss, Metan Boss, however you say your name, for for just being awesome and being able to make stuff like this. This is incredible. Uh, please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.